Hey, welcome back to this uh, video series about um, toolkit classes in C64OS. So in this video I'm going to talk about um, this table view. So I'm just going to make this a little wider to give us some more room. Um, table view is actually uh, a pair of classes. Um, there's the table columns class, um, which embeds the table uh, class itself. So the table columns are a subclass of scroll view, which gives uh, these scroll bars and uh, also provides these columns, column headers. So column headers, there can be up to 10, and uh, each one can have defined properties. So columns can have a title. Um, columns also can be defined as uh, resizable or not with a, a default uh, width, minimum width, and maximum width. So you can see that this first one um, has been defined to not go narrower than that. Um, and when I make it wider, you can see that it uh, has been defined as a maximum width of that. Um, and you can also see that it's, it's resizing the actual columns within the table view that's inside it. Um, um, if the application supports sorting the content, um, you can click on column headers to sort the content. I haven't done that in this test code. Um, you, can you can scroll uh, horizontally and you see that, that not only does the table content scroll, but the uh, column headers are synchronized with that. Um, and the content is striated uh, as, say, black and gray, black, gray, black, gray, so that you can see the rows of data more easily. Um, and you can click to make selections, and you can also um, use the keyboard to make selections. And um, you can make multiple selections if the application has support for it. Um, and uh, the view scrolls automatically to keep track of where the selection is as you move it with the keyboard. So that's uh, an overview of uh, tables in Toolkit of C64OS.